Hey everybody, my name is Anna, aka Glitter and Lasers. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, hello. Today we are doing a haul from a brand that I have only, I think, hauled once. And when I did haul it, it was some mystery boxes, and I was very unimpressed. You guys did not like that video. So we're hopefully gonna revisit that brand and have a little bit mi bleh, I can't speak today. A little bit more joy for me and a little bit more joy for you. Um, in that video, I really just kind of broke down where I think mystery boxes are kind of a scam uh, because you don't get what you want and that's just like the subtle point of it and you also get what didn't sell. Well, today I picked out exactly what I wanted from this brand and this brand is Universal Standard. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Universal Standard, I really like them because they really do offer a full range of sizing from a size extra, extra small, all the way up to a, a like somewhere in the size 30s. It may even, they may even offer up to the size 40. So a really inclusive line of clothing. Um, additionally, they tend to use higher quality products, more natural fabrics, so they're really great if you can afford them. And that's the caveat, they're expensive. And I'm not gonna try to sugarcoat this or work around it. A t-shirt from a universal standard costs something like $50, and that's not something that everyone can afford to spend. Now, I believe they are ethically made, I'm not 100% certain, so don't quote me on that. But overall, the brand is doing a lot to kind of provide you know, high quality basics for the woman on the go who can afford it. So I thought today what I would do instead of just getting a mystery box or a random collection of stuff, I picked out pieces that I personally was excited in so I could give this brand a fair shot. And for the record, I have bought many pieces from Universal Standard. I have worn many pieces from Universal Standard, but I don't think I've ever done a full blown haul. So this is a first for me and a first for you, other than the mystery box haul, which we will not talk about because everybody got angry. Okay, let's jump right in. But before we do, remember to like and subscribe, turn on the notification bell, comments down below, all that good stuff. Um, it really does help me as a creator. And with that, let's jump right in. So the first item we have is, this does not look like my size. I guess it is my size, but it feels really small. Is it maybe just folded in? This can't, oh, okay, yeah. This can't be my size. This has gotta be labeled wrong. This, this doesn't seem right. This seems really small. No. Yeah, this has to be labeled wrong. This, it has to, maybe, I oh, guess maybe it's just really, who made this? Like look at the top guys, the top. Tiny, right? Tiny, tiny, tiny. Look at the leg. Does it have a side zipper even? Like, can I even side zip myself in? This is not gonna fit over my ass. I don't care how much stretch this back panel has. This won't go over my butt. We're not off to a good start. <laughs> we're not, we're not. That I have no hope for that, I'm gonna be really honest. I'm gonna... <sighs> Um, there's just no way. Uh, I tried. Honestly, this is bad design. They should have put a zipper. They just assumed that the person's chest would be the same size as their hips. And like, I can't even figure, like if you look at the difference, here is the hip and here is the chest. It don't make no damn sense. Like this is, this is poorly designed, poorly engineered. Um, it's disappointing because it could have been really fun, but it's not. Okay, so we have this cute little linen set. This is the top. This looks super normal sized. Looks like this is gonna work. And it's a yellow linen top. Oh, it has like, it's not stretchy per se. I guess a little bit of stretch, but not a ton, but like a comfort stretch. Like it's gonna move with you. So it's not like as tight and rigid as like a normal linen. And then we have these super cute shorts. Like I love me some yellow. I love this linen because it also like, just, I love the way this feels, honestly. This stretch linen is really nice. And I think this is gonna be like a cute kind of twin set look, which we know is like very popular right now. And we all know that I love yellow, I love orange, I love anything bright. If it's bright, I want it on my body. So this is, this is, this I'm happy with. And this I'm excited about. It looks like it's gonna fit me like perfectly, maybe even a little big, which is kind of nice. So this is, this is great. This is a win, this is a win. 
I don't know what was happening with that jumpsuit earlier, but this, this looks like what I expected. Okay, can you be allergic to linen? Because I love the way this looks, but man, it feels really itchy. Um, and it's sad because I would wear this, but in this fabric, I just feel like, honestly, I feel like my skin is on fire. So I, I'm gonna research this, but I might be allergic to linen or whatever they put on this to like press it or whatever. Okay, so this is one of their trademark signature pieces. It's called the Geneva dress. It's really interesting. The bottom, as you can see, is this like asymmetrical thing. <laughs> that's, that's the technical term, thing. And it kind of gives you like a ruche detail on one side. I actually really like Geneva dresses. I think they're very comfortable. I think they're very chic. And you can wear them a lot of different ways. I did get a crew neck, crew neck, a crew neck. It was just this rounded neck here. And I just think it's gonna be very cute, good color on me and a nice kind of fashionable staple. So I actually really love this dress. This is something I'm gonna keep. It's a unique basic. And that's some of my favorite things to have in my wardrobe because they're always available, but they're different than just like a red dress. So next up, I grabbed just some comfy pieces. This is a pair of joggers. I loved the color. I love this kind of muted mauve. Ooh, there's some garbage still in there. Mauvey brown, um, nice little ties here, a little bit of a thicker sweat and very soft on the inside. I'm actually a fan of their sweatpants. I've bought multiples from them and I just wore through a green pair so I wanted to replace them. I actually like this a little bit more than the pair I had and it does have really nice deep pockets which is important to me because sometimes when you're like going to the couch to watch a movie, you gotta put like a soda in one pocket, a snack in the other, and then in your hands you're carrying a dog that you force cuddle. So it's just really thinking about my priorities in life. Now this top I think is, is made from tensile, which is a true carbon zero fabric, which is cool. And this is a square neck kind of foundation top. I love the way their foundation pieces feel, but I will say they tend to um, catch really easily. So when you wash them, you just gotta be careful when you dry them and also with what you wash them with. I try to avoid washing them with things that have zippers. That's what typically pulls this fabric. But overall, I love the way these feel. I love that this has like a cute, like longer sleeve and that, again, that modern square neckline. So this would be a cute like running errands look or like if I'm working and editing and I don't wanna fully get ready, this would be something I could throw on and be really, really comfortable in. Um, I love this look. It is very comfortable, but I think you could also like run errands in it and not look like a total slob, which is perfect. So my keeper. So for my next little look that I pulled from Universal Standard, I'm actually super excited about. I got these adorable short overalls, which I have wanted a pair of short overalls. I had a pair before, but they've just seen better days. And these are super cute. Now I have full size overalls from Universal Standard and I love them. I'm obsessed with them. I wear them all the time. So these are obviously the natural place I would go for short alls. What I like about Universal Standard short alls is they are a little bit fitted. And the way they do that is by having these buttons at the side that you can button yourself in. So that allows you to have a larger waist to like pull up over your hips, but then be able to button them and get that definition at the waist, which means they're a little bit more of a figure hugging silhouette than overalls have been in the past. Cause before they would just slide up and then they would be like baggy. Um, you have the front pocket right in here, side pockets here as well. And then you have two pockets, but on bum here on the back. And then obviously like the crisscross strap. It's just, oh, I'm very excited about these. I'm like super, super, super pumped. Then I got to go with it. A really cute, just striped top. Very like, again, I'm in the stripe mode. And I just thought this like cobalt blue stripe underneath these would just be like such a great look. This is again a shirt that I probably will wear a lot and so it's worth it for me to kind of invest in it. I will say that the t-shirts from Universal Standard are a bit thicker and you can definitely tell that they're built to last a little bit longer. That makes sense because again, that price point for a t-shirt from them is about $50 and that is a little bit pricey for a t-shirt in my opinion. But you're definitely not getting a lightweight t-shirt with this one. You're getting a thick, nice t-shirt that's gonna last you a long time. So I love the way these fit, but there's a caveat. These buttons on the side, the buttonholes are kind of small and it really is a project to get them buttoned. 
So because of that reason alone, they're just not practical for me, which is a bummer because I would totally wear them if it was easier to get these buttons unbuttoned and then rebuttoned. It's just, clothing shouldn't be that much work. I still love the tee though, the tee I'm keeping. Our last look is very like athletic chic. So we have a white tee. We've already talked a little bit about the tees. I don't think I need to give you a rundown again. Um, I actually usually keep one white universal standard tee and one black universal standard tee in my wardrobe um, because they do last longer and it is a thing that you wear kind of a lot when you're styling clothing. Unfortunately, I am a messy, messy human and I've gotten crap all over the front of my white universal standard tee that I have. So I just repurchased a white universal standard tee because I was not able to bleach it out. Um, I'm just a mess, I'm just a mess. So with it, I got something fun. I got these sporty wide leg pants with this awesome striping down the side. So here we're just mirroring the, the white tee in this. And what I plan to do is just kind of do like a knotted little thing here at the waist and wear it with this and it's kind of a cute athleisure look. Pants like this um, are incredibly comfortable but you can dress them up and dress them down. This actually would look great with like more of a dressy white crop top if you wanted to do that or even throwing like a blazer over it could be fun. Um, navy is a harder color to work with. I'm not exactly sure why I went with navy. I would say a black pair of these you could do probably more with. I think I just, I don't know, I've just been feeling blue recently so <laughs> I'm sad so I bought sad pants. No, I'm not sad. I've just been feeling the color blue. I think it's because I've noticed that blues and purples, I don't have a lot in my wardrobe. So I've been consciously trying to look out for things that are blue and purple to add to my wardrobe because I have holes in that color story, one might say. And these seemed like a fun piece to kind of play with. So I know it's just a white tee, but it's super comfortable, super breezy. And these pants, they're a little heavy for summer, but for fall, shh, they are banging. Like they are very comfortable and they are cute. And they kind of give you like a nice little shape. I'm feeling it. So as you can see, I don't totally hate universal standard. I do hate that jumpsuit though. That was just rude. But everything else looked really good for the most part. I think that um, it just goes to show when you're investing in a piece of clothing, you should invest and buy something you really like versus taking the chance on something like a mystery box, right? If you're gonna spend the money, spend it on something you really love. And I would say that about fashion anyway. It doesn't matter if it's expensive or if it's cheap, don't buy it unless you love it because you won't wear it unless you love it. And I think we have all have that selection of clothing sitting in our closet where we're just like, why did I buy that? I wasn't feeling it. And the truth of the matter is you shouldn't have bought it. And if you have pieces like that in your wardrobe right now, you should take them to a shelter or give them to someone who can give them a good home because they're just taking up space in your closet. And we both know you're never gonna wear it. So with that guys, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Links are down below. I'll check you later and peace.